Hello everyone. I'm Professor Rekha Murthy from Sai Vidya Institute of Technology from Tripoli Department. So I'm here to discuss the third experiment related with the machine laboratory one that is panel operation of a two dissimilar single phase transformers. What is the aim of this experiment is to connect the two single phase transformers of a different ratings in parallel and to study how they are going to share a common load. So before we go with this experiment, we should know that the transformers are said to be connected in parallel with their when their windings are uh, when their windings are connected to HV or LV bus pass, which will be common to both. So to meet that additional demand on the power system, it becomes necessary either to replace that existing unit by unit or the of a greater capacity or to install the additional unit to carry a portion of the additional load. Sometimes two or more units will be connected in parallel which will be preferred over a single unit. So in this arrangement what will happen the primaries of the two or more transformers will be energized from the same source and the secondary will be connected to the supply with the same load. So the following conditions need to be satisfied in order to avoid that any local circulating current and to make ensure that the transformers is going to share a common load in proportion to their KVA ratings. So what are the conditions need to be satisfied? The primary winding of a transformer should be suitable for the supply system, voltage and the frequency and the transformers should be properly connected with regard to the polarity and the third thing is the voltage rating of both the primaries and the secondaries should be identical that is the transformation ratio the transformer should have a same transformation ratio. The fourth point is the percentage impedance should be equal in magnitude and it should have a same x by r ratio. So let us see that how exactly all these conditions can be satisfied when the two transformers, more than two transformers are connected in parallel and how it is going to share the uh, load, how the power can be shared by each of the transformers. So here, what are the apparatus to be required to conduct this experiment? So we require the ammeters 0 to 5 amperes and the another ammeter of 0 to 10 amperes and 0 to 20 amperes, 0 to 30 amp volts. So we require the voltmeter 0 to 30, 0 to 300, 0 to 600 volts as per what we had considered for the previous session experiments. And we require the wattmeter that is UPF wattmeter, we require the three UPF wattmeters um, and two KV transformer and one more as a one KV transformer. For these two, the supply will be given through the auto transformer and we require the choke coil and the resistive load pack which will be connected on the secondary of the part of the circuit. Let's see the circuit diagram. So where here we can observe that this first part of a circuit is almost, it is an OC test what we had conducted and this was your, the SC test what we had conducted, the, almost it is similar. The difference is we are going to separate the one more, uh, the transformer we have to connect, uh, we need to connect it the, the, uh, the other part of the circuit that is uh, with the means of the SPST. So here, uh, the two transformers, the primary is connected through the supply and the secondary part of this is being connected in parallel with the means of this SPST switch. We are going to connect it to the additional wattmeter and the ammeter. And here this part of the circuit is connected to the resistive bank with the choke coil. So what, uh, what will be the procedure? The connections will be as shown in the figure, it will be made. And the second thing with the SPSD switch, it is open, the supply is switched on. The reading of the voltmeter which is connected across this K is observed. If it reads a zero as what we did in the previous session, if it reads a zero, then what we have to do? If it reads zero, which means that the two secondary EMFs are opposing, then the switch K will be closed. 
then the switch k will be closed okay if it is reads twice what we have to do we need to interchange the secondary of the either of the two transformers okay and the no load reading will be noted down uh, spst switch is closed now when the voltmeter is going to read zero spst switch is closed now this k1 is closed and we have to note down the no load readings so loading is will be continued in steps of the 2 ampere by varying both the resistive and the reactive loads and the k should be taken in such a way that the ammeter which is connected to the secondary it should not exceed the rated current of the corresponding transformer so decrease the load to a zero then open that spst switch to remove the load and then open the supply so perform similarly the short circuit test on both the transformers to determine their equivalent impedance so short circuit test short circuit test is conducted on each of these two transformers separately with the meters which will be connected onto the primary and the readings will be tabulated so for these two transformers we need to conduct the short circuit test separately okay fine so what will be the uh, readings which you are going to take from the short circuit test one transformer will be of a 2 kv and another transformer will be the 1 kv and for the 2 kv the rated current is 8.7 amperes so what will be the voltage this is same value which you will get it as what we did in oc and dc test as a first experiment and we need to repeat to find out the vse and wse for the 1 kv of a transformer obviously it will be half of this value so it is 4.35 amperes then the calculation we have to find out to uh get the respective values that is from the transformer a from the 2 kv we can get the what is that a that is as usual vse by isc and r that is resistance wc by ic square so that we can find out the reactance so it is square root of z square minus r square then we can write that z a as nothing but r a plus j into x a in the rectangular form and also it can be written in the polar that is z a with an angle of psi a so here the final this will be the with the different uh, ratings as i told you the 2 ampere we are going to vary then 4 amperes this is all the variation with respect to the resistive load bank and it should not exceed 12 amperes and we, this is the respective voltage watt meter reading ia ib and ia dash and ib dash values which will be taken up so ia dash can be calculated by using this formula that is il with an angle of minus psi l which is multiplied by zb at an angle of psi b divided by zt into at an angle of psi e plus zb in at an angle of psi into b so this is nothing but the primary of the first uh, the transformer that will be given by the load current multiplied by the other uh, part of the transformer impedance divided by the addition of the impedances of the two transformers transformer a and transformer b and also uh, we can similarly carry out the same calculation for the transformer b so the current which is provided the ib dash will be equal to the load current il with a lagging power factor multiplied by this is the impedance of the other branch so this if this is a uh, current with respect to the transformer b then this will be the impedance of the transformer a divided by the addition of the two impedances of both the transformers so this is how we can calculate the ia dash and ib dash the further calculation when the we are going to find out the equivalent resistance uh, equivalent uh, circuit then these are the parameters which you have to take it out for a transformer one to the 4 kv if you consider so it is z not one is equal to vsc by isc and r not one will be the wsc by isc square and x not one will be equal to square root of z square minus r one square second transformer if it is considered as 1 kv so it is z not two is equal to vsc by isc 
and R naught two is equal to W C by I A C square. Then X naught two will be equal to square root of Z two square minus R two square. Since here we are using transformer one as a two kV, so you can prefer for two kV, and transformer two will be the one kV. Then for the we can find out what will be the I one current and I two current by using the formulas. So this uh, completes. Uh, this will be the theoretical equations which you can carry out, and further we can find out how much. Current or the power which is shared by the um, the secondary or by the uh, two transformers. Okay, when you are going to use uh, the equal uh, ratio, uh, when you are going to use the uh, unequal transformers and similar transformers conducting a parallel operation. So the finally. We complete the two single phase transformers of a different ratings will be connected in parallel, and we are going to find out. How much they are going to share a common load? Thank you for watching this video.